Dexter New Blood episode review video. Before I get into that, though, it'll be important if you are caught up to the point where I am, if you're watching or watching Dexter or Dexter New Blood, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers and... If you want to check out my original review of this episode of Dexter New Blood, click right here with about 20 seconds left to go in the video. It's the end screen where I put all my random playlists that you may or may not be interested in if you want to see my original thoughts on this episode of Dexter New Blood. This will be Dexter New Blood, episode 8. Title of this episode is called Unfair Game. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just re-watching the episode. Dexter is in the back of a truck, passed out after being taken hostage by Elric, Kurt's henchman uh, of sorts. Uh, Dexter dreams of Harrison killing people, and then Dexter wakes up. Now, Kurt has called Elric to check in, and Dexter is able to cause Elric to crash, and uh, he's also able to get free from the zip ties eventually. Now, Elric has a rifle and has Dexter in his scope, shoots Dexter in the leg as Dexter's running away. Kurt Caldwell calls Harrison. He tells Kurt that him and his dad got into a huge fight. Kurt says he's going to come and pick him up. Angela's in her office looking at pictures of Je Dexter on the bowling team uh, at Miami Metro with uh, Angel Batista. Sergeant Logan comes in and tells her it's Christmas Eve. Go home. Angela finds out about Miles, the guy that Dexter attacked at the tavern. Ghost Deb tells Dexter that Harrison's blood is all over his hands. Uh, he tells Angela Logan uh, that uh, he poked, or I should say Miles, I'm sorry. When she, she goes to talk to Miles and he tells her that uh, he, uh, Jim, Dexter, poked him with a needle. Elric's still trying to get Dexter in the snowy woods. Uh, Kurt takes Harrison to the school. Dexter says, the fucking snow, even a three-year-old can track me. Kurt talks about Matt, his son, with Harrison. Kurt takes a few swings in the indoor batting cage and then is surprised to learn that Harrison has never played. Uh, Harrison also takes some swings and then Kurt changes the pitch to a curveball and it hits Harrison but he's good. Now, it seemed like the curveball went as fast as the fastball. Now, I used to consider myself a baseball expert. Now, I the last couple of years, I've kind of fallen off of baseball. The Cubs won the World Series, and after that, it's like, okay, they already won. I don't have to care about baseball as much anymore. But usually on a curveball, if I'm not mistaken, the velocity is a lot slower. So that pitch out of the pitch machine shouldn't have been that fast. But whatever. Maybe I just didn't notice it right or anything. But... Uh, because he changes the speed on that, it actually hits Harrison, but he's good. And then he gets hit again, 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 and again. Harrison is having flashbacks of different things uh, while this is happening, while he's getting hit uh, in the left side. Now, Kurt tells Harrison he's one tough fucking kid. Harrison has a bunch of bruises where the ball kept hitting uh, him. Well, it's different places. And then Kurt's taking Harrison to his cabin for some venison. Dexter goes to a different cabin, uh, leaving a trail for Elric to follow. And Logan tells Angela that Miles gave them Jasper and we... And uh, they went to go get Jasper, but he was already dead. Now Dexter attacks Elric and finds out Kurt's taking Harrison to his cabin and then Dexter stabs and kills Elric. So Elric lasted long. Angela finds out Jasper had ketamine in his system and examines his body and sees a needle mark on his neck. Kurt has made Harrison the venison, and Kurt tells Harrison about the story of his dad supposedly killing the, uh, the iris chick. Uh, Harrison tells Kurt he came to Iron Lake for some answers, uh, Kurt gets up and says there's something that he has to take care of real quick. And then we see that Kurt has grabbed his rifle and put his coat and uh, his uh, like his pants, uh, outdoor pants, 
with a ski mask on. It's like his kill outfit. And then Kurt tells Harrison to run. Now, while Kurt has Harrison in his scope, Dexter arrives to save Harrison as uh, Kurt runs off after he almost gets hit with, with the vehicle that Dexter's in. And then Angela is doing her best Deb impression, looking at photos that are on the floor, reading the toxicology uh, screening, and then does another search that brings the, up the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff. And uh, Dexter tells Harrison he should have told him sooner, but he needs to know. Tells him he never needs to feel alone with his dark thoughts again. I was born in blood, just like you. I also had violent urges. My dad taught me a code. And then Harrison hugs Dexter. This is all I have to do. This is all he ever wanted. Maybe if I'm being honest, or I should say, maybe if I'm being honest, this is all I ever wanted to and that's what ends the episode. I think that I got that quote wrong. I, I must be dyslexic all of a sudden because I fumble words and mistype things. I don't know when it happened, but it's apparently happened because I fuck up shit all the time. And I'm now noticing that. But anyway, I mean, this episode, it had its good moments, but I feel like it was kind of a filler episode. Like Dexter running away in the, the woods for most of the episode from Elric, a character that we see very shortly in one episode and then is featured at the end of one episode and in this one. So... Barely three episodes, but I'm going to score it an 8.5 out of 10. I don't know what my original score was because I never look at those videos before I'm doing a new review. Uh, my male character of the episode, I was thinking Kurt or Harrison. With this episode, I'm going to go Kurt Caldwell. And then our female character of the episode is going to be Angela. So, again, it's okay, but I feel like it could have been better. This is a filler episode. So you've heard what I have to say, now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood and want to support the channel and help JDev out with the YouTube algorithm, make sure you're Hulk smashing that like button. Share this video with anybody you know or put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are. What would you score this episode? Who would be your male and female character of the episode? Whatever information you want to talk about regarding Dexter or Dexter New Blood, you can also leave that. Remember to check out my original review of this episode right there. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, support the channel, subscribe to the channel, join the team, share your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return. <laughs>